Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose, and if you're a returning friend, I hope you're having a great day. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and giving you my first impressions on Carol's Organic Kitchen Eczema Skincare Products. But before we do get into it, please subscribe to my channel for makeup and lifestyle. I'll put my socials right here. I do have an Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I also upload videos every Thursday and Sunday, and don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when I do upload a video and without further ado let's go ahead and get into it okay guys so Carol who is the owner of Carol's organic kitchen reached out to me probably about a couple months ago now and asked me if I wanted to try a whole bunch of her natural handmade eczema skincare products obviously you guys do know that I suffer from eczema mild eczema I was like you know what let's go ahead and try it out I researched her website she does have an Instagram and Facebook page which I will link in the description box down below as you guys can tell I'm wearing my tiger onesie right now I don't know I was just like really feeling it I don't know I ain't going nowhere we're all stuck inside so why not I just took a shower my face is clean I don't have anything on except my Fenty Beauty gloss balm in diamond milk because my lips are really chapped right now first thing that I'm gonna go in with is the Caribbean Island face mask this has 92 minerals and it is a powder benefits so consisting of clay from Caribbean islands the minerals draw toxins from the skin while the talk like Feel smooths and softens the skin. 92 minerals are added from sea moss, which reduces the signs of aging by plumping and repairing the skin, leaving the skin softer, smoother, and visibly improved after one application. After one application, I'm really excited to try this. It says how to use. So use two to three times a week, cleanse skin with African black soap, which I will show you guys here in a second. Mix one teaspoon to two teaspoons of water to form the clean mixture on damp skin apply clay mask it doesn't say how long so I'm assuming you just leave it on to dry so I did about one teaspoon of the mask this is the consistency of it right now I don't know if you guys can see that that's a little on the watery side but I'm sure after drying down it'll be fine so I'm just gonna apply this all over my face real quick The smell does definitely smell on the natural side. Um, not like a natural side like you would think. It smells pretty much like sand, if you were to ever smell sand, if that makes any sense. So the next thing that we have here is the African black soap. For the African black soap, this is a traditional handmade soap made in West Africa for centuries. A survey across 100 dermatology clinics determined 70% positive feedback from people suffering with skin conditions, including eczema. This is a mixture of water and the ashes of plantain skins, cocoa pod powder, and palm oil. Other recipe blends can include the ashes of palm leaves or shea tree bark and a combination of palm oil, coconut oil, shea butter, or tropical honey. You just run this under water and that's it. Okay, so this is really soft and it literally feels like a Play-Doh. I'm not gonna play with it though, but I will try this to see how this works. Okay, so I did have a little bit of this African black soap on my hand and at first I was like this just, it smells like plastic, but when you wash it off, it actually, it just smells like, it smells like regular soap and it feels moisturizing on the hands. Yeah, this doesn't smell bad at all. I like it. The mask is pretty much dry on my face, so I'll be back in just a second and I am going to wash all of this off. Okay guys, so I just washed it off. I'd probably say I'm gonna have to try it a few times to see how the mask works. So I think I'm gonna try it maybe like a couple times this week and I'll let you guys know in the description box down below how it worked out. But as of right now, it just feels like a regular face mask. It does feel soft though right now, but that's pretty much about it. I'm gonna go into this. So this is the, I don't know if it's cognac or, or conjac facial sea sponge. The conjac sponge is made from 100% natural conjac plant 
fiber. These sea sponges provide a deep cleaning of facial and body pores. It's suitable for people with sensitive skin and eczema and gently slaws off dead skin to bring back the natural glow. This sponge naturally nourishes with vitamin A, B, C, D, and E. I'm not gonna try this out because I've already washed my face and I used the mask. There is that, I'm really excited to try that. So the next thing I'm gonna go in with is a face and body product. It is called Dermazine. So this has coconut oil, shea butter, lavender oil, and frankincense oil. So I did open this up when I first got it and this smells so good. Like if you love natural scents, you are going to love this. The shea butter has a large healing fraction, rids of skin scarring, acts as a natural skin barrier, softens dry skin, and treats skin problems, including eczema, due to its anti-inflammatory properties. Coconut oil is antibacterial in nature and a great natural emollient, even more so when combined with shea butter. It is great for reducing inflamed skin and healing wounds. When used in skincare products, frankincense oil is said to treat dry skin and reduce the appearance of scars. And then lavender is antibacterial and antifungal. It soothes to reduce itching, reduces inflammation, and is known to knit wounds together and relieves pain. This feels so good on my skin. My skin feels so nice right now. I know that I said at first I didn't really see anything with the face mask, but after putting this on, it feels so soft. If you suffer from anxiety, this might be really good for you as well because I know that sometimes smelling lavender oil can help people and there are so many different kinds of oils in here that I know that my sister uses when she has anxiety and so to work for that too. Now we have the body hydrating butter. This has coconut oil, shea butter, and lemongrass with the Beneficial ingredients of shea and coconut oil, lemongrass is invigorating. It boosts energy, it is packed with vitamin A and C. Lemongrass also keeps skin and hair glossy. It also acts as a great skin deodorizer as an alternative to conventional deodorants. It smells so good. It smells, it just smells fresh. It kind of reminds me of Lush. That's what that smells like. It reminds me of Lush. Next, we have the eucalyptus oil with olive oil. It is 100% pure eucalyptus leaf, which is hand-picked and naturally infused in olive oil. Eucalyptus oil has a number of anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving properties. It is anti-Semitic and it is well known for assisting with respiratory issues, sore throats, seasonal allergies, and muscle and joint pain. I'm gonna smell so natural. <laughs> All right, that is really cool. I'm gonna be oiled and slicked up. Next we have the Caribbean sea moss. There isn't really an explanation on how to use this, but we do have a description here. The sea moss contains 92 minerals of 102 that the body needs. It's a good source of iodine and protein and great for collagen production, which helps to plump your skin, smooth out wrinkles, tone your skin, and fight the signs of aging. I don't know if you ingest this. I don't know if you scrub this on your face. I'm not quite sure, but when I do find out, I will put it in the description box down below. Carol sent me the Caribbean Island teas for the nettle, clove, and cinnamon. All these she made because of its nourishing, diuretic, and anti-inflammatory properties. Nettle tea is a natural beautifier to the skin and hair. It has been shown to clear acne and eczema as well as encourage thicker, shinier hair and new hair growth. Clove contains important nutrients in vitamin C, which is great news for eczema sufferers for boosting the immune system and high in antioxidants. Cinnamon is high in substance and powerful medicinal properties and is loaded with antioxidants as an anti-inflammatory properties. So this sounds really interesting. It sounds like it tastes really good because I do love clove and I do love cinnamon and I'm starting to get into more tea. I mean, we're going to have to pretty soon here if we can't get into the grocery stores, I have a crap ton of tea that we have not finished off yet. For the sorrel tea, this one says sorrel tea contains vitamin C, a strong antioxidant that is responsible for keeping the immune system healthy. Plus its vitamin C content helps increase the absorption of iron, which is great for maximum rewards all around. It looks like that is it. Like I said, I'm really excited to try all of these 
things. I mean, who doesn't love taking care of their skin? I've got eczema and I've been dealing with this for a really long time. And sometimes it's nice to have natural, organic alternatives to just your Aquaphor or your CeraVe or whatever you can find at the drugstore. It is a nice alternative to have something that's from the earth that is natural and organic. So I'm really excited to try these out. All in all, you guys, my first impressions, I'm really happy with it. And I cannot wait to try them some more and see how they work out in the long run. Please go check out Carol's Organic Kitchen on Instagram and Facebook. I will link everything down in the description box down below. And yeah, guys, that is it for me. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.